Hey, I want to show you a little trick or secret or hack or whatever you call it to unlock the guitar fretboard. Now, if you have this in-depth understanding of it, you have so much more creativity and flexibility. I mean, not so much more creativity, but more flexibility to exercise your creativity um, to create the music that you want to make. All right, so the song that I'm going to be showing you today and demonstrating to you is called Micro Roll the Bodo Show. Right, very simple folk song. And let's take a look. And this, observe how I play it on the guitar. I'm just going to strum the chords and sing along. Micro Roll the Bodo Show, Helen. Hallelujah, Michael Roll the boat ashore. Hallelujah. And I'm gonna sing the same thing but up a tone. Michael Roll the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael Roll the boat ashore. Hallelujah. I can do that one more time. Michael Roll the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Now, what was I doing there, right? I was taking this way of playing the song, right? This chord, basically just a three chord song. And the thing is, because the guitar is structured in such a way, um, the, this instrument is a beautiful instrument because it's so easy. Easy once you have this foundation, right? I'm, I'm not trying to, to, to say that it's actually an easy instrument. In fact, it's a little bit tricky to pick up and start. Okay, I'm getting sign light here. Now, this chord progression here, if I just move everything up two frets, I'm basically able to play and achieve the same thing just at a higher key. Now, this doesn't just apply for chords, but it applies to melodies as well. So, if we get our scale, this is the G major scale. Um, this is a closed position scale, meaning we're not using open strings. Right, now I can play my melody here like this. If I want to play this melody in a higher uh, key, I just need to shift everything up. All right, I can shift up one fret, two frets, ten frets, up to you. All right, I, I wouldn't recommend ten frets, but let's move up two frets here. Okay, so from here, this is our first note. Now I'm just going to move up here and play exactly the same way, just two frets higher. All right now, the thing that allows this to happen is because the strings are arranged in a certain way, right, obviously, um, but the intervals between each of these strings, right, are going to remain the same no matter where you are on the fretboard. So, for example, if I'm just playing um, this note here on the third fret of the low E string, and then this note, this relationship is what we call a perfect fourth. Now, you don't need to know that jargon, but this is a perfect fourth. But if I move up, let's say, uh, up, let's say, five frets, right here, uh, or, or whatever amount of frets we want, okay, here. These two notes here, the relationship is still a perfect fourth, the interval is the same. So what this means for us, and you can apply that to any of the strings here, is that no matter how you, uh, where you play on the guitar, on the neck, whether it's down here or up here, as long as you are moving, uh, using the same positions relative to where you start, you can achieve the same musical effect. So just like how I demonstrated, right? This song, I can play it up here, or here, right? Or here. It's the same way of playing it just up and down to the neck. Now, if you want to check out and learn these movable scale diagrams, movable chord shapes, you can go download the guides that I have prepared for you for free, all right? Um, this is the chord, chord harmony guide, scale melody guide. Now, I know I ask you to download these guides a lot uh, if you're a regular viewer of my videos, and that's because uh, I've packaged this, these guides in such a way that it's really, really accessible, and it's all there. It's like a cheat sheet that you can use constantly for your practice and for when you're actually trying to arrange fingerstyle guitar songs, all right? So now, this applies for fingerstyle guitar arrangements as well. So if I'm applying, if I'm arranging this song in fingerstyle guitar, maybe I would, I would play it like this. change key. Same way of playing. One more time, why not? Shall we do
do one more? Why not, right? <laughs> And we can keep going and be as annoying as we want to our friends, all right? Uh, but the idea is that guitar, it's, it's not that difficult once you have a grasp of the movable chord shapes and the movable scale patterns, right? Then you can unlock your entire guitar fretboard. Now, if you want to go in-depth and study all these concepts in detail and how to make fingerstyle arrangements like how I did um, demonstrate it to you, you can check out my fingerstyle for the world course. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, if you have any comments or any questions that you have that you want me to answer and address to you, just uh, leave it in the comments below, all right? Now, more than happy to help you and thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Now, have a great day and see you. Bye-bye.